hey you guys it's expertin and if you guys were looking for a build to put you on top of the dps charts this is the perfect build for you okay starting off with your super you're gonna want blade barrage it does a ton of damage and it recently got buffed all right let's get to the four abilities okay class ability you want to have acrobats dodge reason for this is because what this dodge does is whenever you dodge you will give you and all your nearby allies a damage buff which is very important for dps all right melee ability you can go with really any melee ability you want to be honest I just like knife trick personally because you can chain it back to back but another great option would be the lightweight knife because this knife will give you and your allies another damage buff when, when you hit a target with it so that way if you don't have acrobats dodge you could just you utilize lightweight knife to also give you radiant Grenade, I recommend the fusion grenade because you can just throw it at a target, stick it, and after a few seconds it will explode, which is nice for damage. Okay, time to get into the aspects. For these two aspects, you need to make sure you have both of these. Let's start with on your mark. What this aspect does is, whenever you get a precision kill with your weapons, it will give you and your allies increased weapon handling and reload speed for a short duration. And this will stack up to three times. This is very nice because this is essentially just a free reload speed buff for all your weapons for you and your allies. And additionally, whenever you activate your class ability, you instantly get times three stacks. Which synergizes perfectly with our acrobat dodge. So whenever we use our acrobat dodge, we will get a radiant damage buff and significantly increased reload speeds for me and my allies. Okay, and the second aspect you will want is knock them down. What this does is it will just make your blade barrage launch a lot more projectiles, which in turn converts to more da total damage and DPS. And whenever you're radiant. Whenever you get a kill for your throwing knife, you will get your entire knife back, which is just really knife nice because that synergizes with Ember of Torches. Ember of Torches. Powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant. So what this does is, so our melee and our class ability will give me and my allies a damage buff so that way we will always have a damage buff up for dps very nice okay next fragment ember of beams your solar super projectiles have stronger target acquisition and this also gives you a nice t plus 10 bump to your intellect this is very good because it allows you to consistently hit your blade barrage hits so that you don't miss out on that extra damage. Okay, Ember of Solace. Radiant and Restoration effects applied to you have increased duration. This is a must have solar fragment because this triples the duration of your radiation of your radiant excuse me and restoration effects. So we get 15 seconds on our radiant damage buff and our and our restoration effect, which is healing over time will last longer that will help us with survivability okay this is a new one now if you guys didn't know Bungie just recently gave us access to the last two solar fragments for solar 3.0 because we hit the 10 million public event goal and this this fragment here is very very busted and you're definitely going to want this Okay, solar Ember of Empyrean. Solar weapon or ability final blows, extended duration of restoration, 
and radiant effects on you this is very good so this will allow us to have infinite uptime of not only our healing over time from restoration but the damage buff from radiant too this is a must have solar fragment for all three classes in my opinion now that it's available okay and the last fragment ember of singeing your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets now this is perfect because with our melee here our knife trick this throws a fan of fl flaming knives that will scorch targets so as we are hitting targets with our flaming knives we will get our class ability back over time so that way we can have so that way we can keep our radiant damage buff going okay now let's get into the weapons for the weapons you want to have weather horde weather horde is very nice for dps because you could just shoot it stick it on a boss or any target and then just swap to a heavy weapon and deal damage uh Another great weapon you can use other than Weather Horde is Teraba. Now Teraba is also very powerful. What Teraba does is whenever you take damage with Teraba or while you're doing damage, it gets a significant damage buff. And it just starts melting everything. But I didn't feel like wasting 240 swells for it, so I decided to just go with Callus Mini Toll. And the reason why I chose Kalos Mini Toll is because of its origin trait. To excess, final blows of this weapon while your super is full. Grant a bonus to strength and discipline for a moderate duration. And we're going to be doing a lot of this. Reason being is because of the way Star Eater Scales works. It's what Star Eater Scales does is... Its perk is Feast of Light. You gain additional super energy from orbs of power you pick up. While your super energy is full, picking up an orb of power overcharges your super, casting, causing you to gain a burst of healing when cast and a bonus to your super damage. At maximum overcharge, you also gain an overshield. So basically, what Star Eater Scales does is, whenever you don't have your full super, whenever you get kills, it will generate orbs. And once you pick up those orbs, it will give you super energy. But when you do have your super energy, whenever you pick up orbs, and this stacks up to eight times, by the way, but whenever you pick up orbs, when you do have your super energy, each stack will increase the damage of your super. And once you hit times eight, you get an insane damage buff to your blade rod. Just honestly crazy. And an overshow whenever you cast it too as well. All right, for my heavy weapon, I chose to go with the new Storm Chaser Linear Fusion Rifle. This new Linear Fusion Rifle is the new meta. Like, I'm talking meta. This new Linear Fusion Rifle is honestly the best heavy in the game now for DPS. And it's just the best option in terms of DPS. Which is why I chose it. Now in this actual role I have here is not good. The role you want to look for is either firing line with rapid hit. Or firing line with clown cartridge for the most DPS. Okay, now time for armor. On your helmet, you want to make sure you have double solar siphon. This is just so that our callus mini tool can create as much solar orbs as possible. And also, as well, if you have two solar siphons instead of just one, what it will do is, whenever you create an orb of power, on orb of power, whenever you get kills with the callus mini tool, it will make it so that the orb that you generate will give you double super energy when you pick it up. Which is going to be nice to help us get to our super quicker. And start gaining those stacks of Feast of Light. And I also have Bountiful Wells. Just to double the amount of wells that I drop. Whenever I produce any. And to pair that with. We're going to pair that with the. Elemental Ornaments. What this does is. Essentially it, all it means is. 
Whenever we get kills with a weapon that matches our, su our super subclass, which is solar. So whenever we get kills with our callus mini toll, it will spawn elemental wells. And for our third mod, you are going to want font of wisdom. And what this will do is whenever we pick up any elemental well, it does not matter what element it is, solar, arc, void, whatever. It will give us a significant increase to our super regeneration. Now, what this actually means is that when we pick up any elemental well, we are basically going to get maximum intellect for set duration. It's going to be very helpful for helping us maintain our super and have it up most of the time. And on my Star Eater scales, I have Linear Fusion Rifle Scavenger. You're going to need you're going to need this because we're not going to be rocking a Linear Fusion Rifle Finder. You want to make sure you have at least a scavenger so that that way you get a lot more heavy ammo whenever you pick up heavy. And the uh, the uh, solar mod I have on my starter scales is Well of Life. This is so that whenever we pick up those solar elemental wells that we will be creating with our Callus Mini Toll, it will give us healing over time, which is nice for survivability. All right, and lastly, on our cloak here. Now on the cloak, ideally, the mod you actually want to have is Classy Restoration. However, I don't have enough EXP yet to unlock it. But if you do, definitely put this on. And you want to pair Classy Restoration Artifact Mod with Font of Might. And what Font of Might will do is, whenever we pick up the Solar Elemental Wells that we create, we will get a damage buff for our Callus Mini Tool. And it will basically turn our callus mini tool into an ad melting machine. But yeah, I decided to go with instead of classy restoration. I decided to put utility kickstart, double utility kickstart on my cloak. So that that way, whenever I pop my class ability, I can get a portion of it back. So I can use it again. And paired that with Well of Life. Now on your Callus Mini Toll. It would be very ideal for you to have the new Incandescent perk here. Because what the Incandescent perks, perk states is that whenever you kill a target. With this weapon. It will scorch nearby targets and ignite them. Which would synergize perfectly with our Ember of Singeing, so that whenever we Scorch targets, our class ability regenerates. But uh, that's the build. And now for some gameplay. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys build in action. So firstly, activate your class ability for a Radiant Damage buff. And then as you can see, as I'm getting kills with my solar weapon here, I'm extending the duration on my Radiant buff. And my Callus Mini Tool is just melting to these guys. It just melts. It's insane. And whenever we pick up a well, I keep healing over time. And what you want to do is, you want to get as much kills with Callus Mini Tool as possible so that you can spawn as many orbs of power because once you get times eight orbs your super does some ridiculous damage so just get as much kills with your cast mini tool as you possibly can all right we got time six let me show you guys the damage and look at that, look at that, it just deletes. Your super just deletes any boss. Like it's honestly insane. It doesn't matter how, how much health they are or how tanky they are. If you get times eight feats of light, 
Your blade barrage does some insane damage. It's so overpowered. Alright. Wait for this next wave of Alts of Sorrow to spawn. Look at how much damage our Storm Chaser does. Storm Chasers, man. Does so much damage. Yeah, that man, this build is insane. Very, very good build. I sure, I sure you. If you use this build, we're gonna be doing the most DPS every time. You just melt every boss that you come in contact with. Look at that. Deleted. Alright, but yeah, you guys. That's all for the build. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this build, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Like it. Share it. And thank you guys for watching.